Day one in the books in Tampa as the Titans practice against the world champion Buccaneers with Amy Wells and Coach Dave McGinnis. I'm Mike Keith. A lot of our focus today was on defense, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But first, let's just talk about the overall work. Mike Vrabel, the head coach of the Titans, Bruce Arians, the head coach of the Bucks, And in your mind, Coach Mack, if you're going to put a joint practice together, those two, perfect match. Perfect match because they're both old school ball coaches, and I'm saying that in a completely complimentary way. They understand what you have to get done in these practices. If, if the head coaches don't have control, these practices turn into like Braveheart running at one another. They got work in because both head coaches understand what they're here for. It's a perfect match. Now, when you mentioned the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, everybody's first thought is number 12, Tom Brady. Everybody wanted to see Tom Brady. The Titans defense got a chance to work a lot against him today. What did you see from the Titans defense? Well, I really liked what I saw you know, for this reason, and you're right. I mean, Tom Brady was down there running. Gronk practiced today, which was a big thing. They've got Mike Evans out there running. I was really impressed, and we'll get into this. I was really impressed with the cover people. The coverage people did what I hoped they would do, and I know the coaches had them do this. They challenged themselves. They challenged themselves on their seniors. They weren't playing it safe. They weren't laying back off of them. I saw Jayon Brown on, on, on Gronk one time, and Gronk ran a little stick nod move up the seam. It was thrown over his head. But then Gronk and Jayon were talking about it on the way back to the huddle. Gronk was saying, look, get a little closer to me. I'm going to nod you like that. So those things between veterans is great. I love the defensive work today, especially coverage aspect. In the secondary, I want to talk about first-round pick Caleb Farley. His most extensive work. You saw him have uh, several big reps against big-time players. One against Mike Evans stuck out. You and Charles Davis and I were standing together watching. We all three went, whoa, okay, there you go. Because here's what Farley is. He's long, but he's fast. And he got, and, and Amy was asking the question. She was standing there with us. She said, because he got behind a little bit, but he's got the speed and the length to catch up. And Mike Evans is legit as they come. Stuck his hand up in there in the basket, deep down the field, knocked it away. Great work today for Farley. And he was, he was challenging himself against some real dudes. Are there any other guys in the secondary that really caught your attention today? Eliza Molder. This kid is a slot player. I mean, he was he hipped up so well. We we're sitting there watching him. He's got a knack for that. And playing the slots, you have to have a knack for being able to get on the inside hip, not get too high, not get too low on it, and then have the timing to shoot your hands, especially on those underneath routes. I liked what I saw in Molden. Now, he got beat some today, but you're practicing against the world champions. They all got beat some today, but they challenged him. I loved watching Elijah Molden, and I would be remiss if I did not mention Christian Fulton. Fulton looked nice out here today, too. He, again, challenged himself. Amani Hooker with an interception, Jack Rabbit Jenkins with an interception. It's interesting, Coach, because two years ago, the Patriots came to Nashville with Tom Brady, practiced against the Titans, and he cut the secondary up pretty good. Today, with better receivers, yeah, he had some good plays, but the Titans had some good plays too. Well, I think it's, it's, it's a plus to John Robinson and Mike Grable, what they've added to this secondary. We all talked about it in the offseason. They needed more foot speed back then, and they've got it. Jack Rabbit is a ball magnet. That's been his calling card since he came into the league. They threw a little, they tried to throw a seven route to Gronk. It was a little high of a throw. He tipped it. Jack Rabbit right there took it up the sideline for a touchdown. Amani Hooker, we've talked about him all camp, and not just because we like to talk about Amani Hooker. He's legit. He is legit this year. He looks different, his body's different, and he's playing different. This is a confident young safety now. The Bucks and the Titans working against one another on this Wednesday, and I think both teams will take things back to the film room and say, we did some good stuff and we've got things to work on. That's exactly what you want to see in these kind of workouts. The other story of the day, the heat. This may be the hottest August 18th in Tampa history. And both teams held up very well in the heat. For Amy Wells and Dave McGinnis, I'm Mike Keith. And we'll be back with you to talk more offense tomorrow from Tampa.